Welcome to another video. There's a prolonged debate about what is better, RuCode or Klein, and I wanted to talk about the features that both provide, which are better for most users, and what factors you need to consider before choosing. So first of all, Klein is an AI coder, which, when it first came out, was named Claude Dev. It then got renamed to Klein and continued to improve. However, after being renamed to Klein, the progress slowed down, which was very contradictory to the pace before the rename. They began taking a more professional approach, which is fine, although it lost some of the open source energy of breaking things and whatnot. That's why some open source contributors forked the project and named it RuKlein at first, and then they renamed it to RuCode. This repository merges almost every pull request from contributors, which means you'll see a multitude of features in addition to the original Klein. And by multitude, I mean quite a few. So, let me just show you the features side by side to highlight the differences between them. If I open up Klein here, you can see that it looks very polished. For example, if I click on these auto-approve options, it's quite organized. You can set the model from here, and the plan and act options are located at the bottom. Although it doesn't have as many features, it is adequate for most users. But what if you want to create your own modes, change the system prompt, modify diff, and replace search power, or anything like that? Well, that's where RuCode comes in. If you open up RuCode, you'll see that it looks very similar to Klein at first glance. However, you can see that we have multiple modes here, and you can also create your own modes by clicking the Edit button. This will take you to a page that allows you to create modes or agents with any system prompt that you want. You can also change the other system prompts, and it even has several additional options. For instance, you can change your preferred language here, enter your custom instructions, or modify the system prompts for even minor details. One more thing you'll notice is that if we go to the settings option, it will show you a lot of configurations. You can see that we have an option called API Profiles, which allows you to make configurations and save them as a profile. Then, you can also configure another profile with different settings and switch between them instantly. You can change the temperature, set auto approve parameters, or, if you're using a free version, automatically set up rate limits accordingly. You can also change the match precision, and there are experimental checkpoints, search and replace tools, and other features which are quite useful. Although, I have seen that it may not work as well if you configure it in a way that isn't optimal. So, you'll need to configure it properly, which can be a bit complex with all these options. Now, what should you use? Well, I think that if you're not an advanced user, don't want to tweak many settings, and are fine with simple features, then you can just use the general Klein. It's much more stable and easy to use and configure. On the other hand, with RuCode, you might feel a bit lost, which can be a bummer for sure. I have been using RuCode for various reasons. The first reason is that I can manage my own modes and customize my prompts. I also appreciate the ability to change many settings, which I like because I enjoy customizing things. A great feature for sure. So, if you just want to get things done with simple settings, then you can stick with Klein. However, if you're having issues with it, you can give RuCode a try, as it is far more customizable and advanced. I hope that resolves your thoughts about it. Please subscribe to the channel and share your thoughts as well. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!